Hi guys, I want to share with you guys my favorite blending tools. So I'm going to start by drawing some random shapes. Oops. Okay. And then just another color. Usually when you have a drawing a painting you have different kinds of colors and then you want to mix them blend them together okay i want to add this one so it's a very strong color okay maybe one more So we have more options okay so whenever you want to blend something you go to this little hand right here and then you click on it and then you get your tools I mean your brushes and my favorites are the charcoal and it's the vine charcoal brush I love the texture it gives so we're gonna start with that one I'm going to start on this side. So, you can choose how big or small you want the brush to be. I usually, like, move it up and down all the time, you know, depending how big or small the area is that I want to blend. And here, you can move and change the opacity. And I usually just leave it, you know, halfway or depends if it's just strong that you come back and move it. Okay, so for example, if you're doing some type of fur, I usually use this, um, this brush because it kind of gives you that kind of texture, like a little, you know, of hair, fur, or if you want to just blend them all together it takes you know some practice you just gotta blend it all together and just mix the colors let's mix them all you can go bigger until you like how it's looking So it gives you that texture. Um, I really like it because usually when I'm drawing, uh, for example, like a dog that doesn't have really long hair, this one will give me that texture I like. I always use this also when I'm doing skin because um, I love texture. Our faces, you know, our skin has texture. So you can use... For example, here, you go to the airbrush, and I love using the soft brush. Okay, this one will give you a very clean blending. And this one, I like to use it when I'm doing, like, skin, but I want it to be more cartoonish, if that makes any sense. And just play with it until you like the blending. If you want it to be more blended, you know, the, the strokes should be stronger. You just move this opacity up and down. Okay, my next one, it's like a watercolor one. I moved it here so it's easier for me to find it. So this one, you want to find it all the way in painting. And it's right there. So it gives you a really nice texture. I like using this one also for skin because... Like I said, I love adding texture to the skin because, I mean, we all have texture. So, I'm going to use that one. Okay. And you just blend. You cannot see it that well. I'm going to do it right here. And like I said, you can just move on the opacity and how big you want i usually when i'm using this one i like to make the brush very small because when you do it like for example big 
the um, blending it's a very um, strong I don't know how to say it okay so when I use this tool I like to make it very small because I like to just blend the lines together but you can still kind of see the colors that are supposed to be there so just blend this and like I said you can move the opacity and just blend blend and when you have um, blended all the lines that you want to blend together I usually like to go and move the brush and make it a little bigger so that way I can mix it better but just on the edge you know you I don't go on top of it exactly like what I blended first unless you do like um, I showed you earlier you can just go and make it bigger stronger and you know it's gonna be it's a little too crazy for me but you can play with it until you find the way you like and let's see for example if you want to do like hairs like for hair for any drawings you're doing you can find a lot of free hair brushes online here the hair detail and the short hair are usually the ones I go for I really like how um, it looks I usually paint the hair with the short hair and then when I'm gonna blend I use the hair detail so you can just play with those and if you're doing fur you can also find these ones free online there's so many of them you can use okay let's see which one do we use let's try let's try this one this one I got it for free also so here you can make very soft fur or hair you can use it for hair I think and also you can use it to blend and you make little hairs and just blend it until you know you like the results you can make it shorter the fur and make it short you can make it bigger You can bring the colors in or out. Just play with it until you're satisfied with the blending. So usually these are the ones I like to use. This one I got it for free. If I find the link, I will post it down below. You can always go on Google and just search for free Procreate brushes. Or you can put fur or hair. Or skin you can find so many free brushes for free online so I use that one and in the airbrush it's soft brush which these ones come free with procreate they already come uh, when you download the program the app it already comes with this so the soft brush the watercolor I would say the name but I really don't want to say it wrong <laughs> so then I like the charcoal which is the vine charcoal and those are my favorite ones give it a try and see how you like it if you have any other brush that you like for blending please just leave me in the comment and so I can try it because you know it's always nice to find new brushes and to learn new things so good luck i hope you enjoyed this video and this was of any help bye